Greetings once more, cognitive explorers and sound aficionados of the Cognition Chunks community. Welcome to Cognition Chunks. This is How Pythagorean Tuning Affects Instrument Design Pythagorean tuning has a profound influence on instrument design, affecting not just the internal mechanisms of an instrument but also the manner in which it is played. Below, we explore various aspects through which Pythagorean tuning has historically influenced, and continues to influence, the design of musical instruments. String Instruments 1. String Lengths Pythagorean tuning relies on simple whole number ratios, often represented in string instruments by specific string lengths. For example, the length of a violin string when stopped at its midpoint will produce a perfect octave above the open string, adhering to the 2 to 1 ratio fundamental to Pythagorean tuning. 2. Fret Placement Instruments like the guitar or lute might have frets placed according to Pythagorean intervals, especially in historically accurate reproductions. 3. Multi-stringed instruments Instruments like the harp or sitar, which have multiple strings tuned to specific notes, can be designed to accommodate Pythagorean tuning easily. Wind instruments 1. Board design the internal dimensions of a wind instrument can be tailored to produce overtones that align more closely with Pythagorean ratios. 2. Key Mechanism For instruments like flutes or saxophones, the key mechanisms might be designed to allow players to adjust pitch minutely to adhere to Pythagorean intervals. 3. Variable Tuning some wind instruments come with a tuning slide that allows for adjustments to match different tuning systems, including Pythagorean. Percussion Instruments 1. Tuning Pegs Drums that have adjustable tuning pegs can be tightened or loosened to produce pitches that adhere to Pythagorean tuning. 2. Idiophones Instruments like the xylophone or marimba, which have tuned bars, can be constructed to adhere to Pythagorean tuning. Electronic Instruments 1. Synthesizers Electronic instruments can be programmed to emulate various tuning systems. Some advanced synthesizers offer Pythagorean tuning as a preset. 2. Digital Correction Digital Audio Workstations DAWs, can adjust recorded material to align with Pythagorean tuning. Ergonomics and Playability 1. Fingerboard slash fretboard, the layout may be optimized for easier fingering of Pythagorean intervals. 2. Wind instrument fingerings, alternate fingerings might be more or less difficult to execute based on the instrument's design around Pythagorean principles. Acoustic Properties 1. Resonance Instruments designed with Pythagorean tuning in mind may have a unique timbral quality due to the specific resonances of Pythagorean intervals. 2. Harmonics The natural harmonics of an instrument might be more readily accessible or sonorous if the instrument is designed with Pythagorean ratios in mind. Aesthetic and Cultural Considerations 1. Historical Accuracy Instruments designed for the performance of early or traditional music are often constructed to be compatible with period-appropriate tuning systems, which may include Pythagorean tuning. 2. Cultural Authenticity In some non-Western cultures, instruments are designed explicitly around non-equal tempered scales, which can sometimes align closely with Pythagorean principles. Conclusion Pythagorean tuning affects instrument design in a multifaceted manner, intersecting with acoustics, ergonomics, and even cultural significance. Whether it's the precise placement of frets, the internal dimensions of a wind instrument's bore, or the programmable settings of a digital synthesizer, 
the reverberations of this ancient tuning system are felt across a broad spectrum of instrument construction and modification. This speaks to the enduring influence of Pythagorean tuning as both a practical and theoretical foundation in the realm of music. We've reached the resonating conclusion of our journey into the intricate relationship between Pythagorean tuning and instrument design. We've explored the tightrope walk of physics, mathematics, and engineering that culminates in the musical instruments we know and love. In this riveting episode, we broke down the mathematical principles behind Pythagorean tuning, emphasizing its deep roots in ratios and proportions that date back to the iconic Pythagoras. We've explained how the Pythagorean comma, an inevitable byproduct of this system, has intrigued and vexed musicians and luthiers alike for centuries. We then transitioned into the real meat of our discussion, how does this ancient tuning philosophy affect modern instrument design? We explored how string lengths, bridge placements, and fret layouts are meticulously calculated to optimize for Pythagorean scales. We even took a look at wind instruments and discovered how their internal architecture also has to account for this esoteric yet fascinating tuning system. So what's the takeaway? Pythagorean tuning doesn't just live in dusty old books or inside the minds of music theorists, it's physically manifested in the very instruments we use to create music. It reveals an awe-inspiring synchronization of art, science, history, and craftsmanship that constantly challenges our conventional understandings. If you're still with us, and your mind is ringing with harmonic excitement, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more thought-provoking episodes. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay in tune with upcoming servings of knowledge, sprinkled with our signature nerdy humor. As we wrap up, remember that here at Cognition Chunks, we continue to break down complex phenomena into digestible, intellectually stimulating morsels. We can't wait to explore the next big topic with you. Until then, may your curiosity be as finely tuned as a Pythagorean liar. Was this accurate? Did GPT just make up a bunch of stuff that does not exist or does not make sense? Find out next time in the Cognition Chunks follow-up.